What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the perimeter and area of shapes and polygons in the coordinate plane. Alright, so first of all we have a triangle right here, right? So the area of a triangle, of any triangle, is equal to one half the base times the height. Okay, now when your shapes are lined up with the grid like this, it's a little bit easier to figure it out, okay? Because as you can see the base right here would just be this horizontal side, right? So the base, how long is the base? Well, it's one two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven spaces long or seven units long. And then the height would be right here, right? So the height would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's five right there. Okay, so if we wanted to find the area, the area would be equal to one half the base, which is seven times the height, which is five. Okay, so it'd be equal to one half times 35, which is equal to 17.5 okay and whatever your units you're using just put those there and then they would be squared right so we'll just say 17.5 units squared okay now in order to find the perimeter we have to add up all the sides together right so we already have these two and if you notice we can actually use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this missing side right here the the hypotenuse right here right this long side so the formula for that would be a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, okay? Where A and B right here are your two shorter sides, and then C is your hypotenuse, okay? So first of all, uh, we can plug in, let's see, we have a seven and a five. Those are our shorter sides, right? So we can plug in a seven here and a five here, okay? So then we'll have seven squared plus five squared is equal to C squared, okay? Now seven squared is equal to 49, five squared is 25, and that's equal to c squared. Okay, now 49 plus 25 is equal to, well, 49 plus 20 is 69, nice, plus five is 74. Okay, so here we have 74 is equal to c squared. Okay, now to get rid of this exponent right here, the two, right, we have to take the square root of that, and what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So then here, these cancel out, so then on this side, we're just left with c is equal to the square root of 74, which is approximately, let me change my symbol to then, approximately 8.6, all right? So this side right here is the hypotenuse. We're gonna say it's about 8.6. Okay, now if we wanna find the perimeter, now we can add up all the sides together, right? So we're gonna have seven plus five plus 8.6, and that's equal to 20, Point six, And if we have units here, you know, you just write your units right there, right? Inches or feet, miles, whatever. Okay, so here's the perimeter. All right, so here's our next example. So we have a rectangle, right? So the area of a rectangle is the length times the width, right? So in order to find the area here, uh, since it's at an angle, right, it's not lined up with the grid, we can't just count spaces like we did last time. So in this case, we're going to have to use the distance formula. Now, if you don't remember what that is, I'll write it right here. So it's x of 2 minus x of 1 squared plus y of 2 minus y of 1 squared. Okay, so this whole thing is under a square root. Okay, now, if you're not familiar with this, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But this is the formula you have to use in order to find the distance between two points. Okay, so if we want to find this side right here, this length, we have to find the distance between these two points right here, right? Three comma eight and negative six comma negative one. Okay, so if we're gonna use the distance formula, we have to label our points here that we're gonna use. Okay, so this one, let's label this one as x of one, y of one, and this one we'll label as x of two, y of two, okay? So now that we labeled our two points right here, now we can find the distance between them, okay? By plugging it in right here. So we're gonna have the length, is equal to the square root of all this junk right here, right? So x of two minus x of one. So we're gonna have x of two, which is three, minus x of one, which is negative six. So three minus negative six. Okay, so in parentheses, we're gonna have three minus negative six, and that's squared. And then we're gonna add that to our other set of parentheses right here, y of two minus y of one. So y of two is eight, y of one is negative one. So we're gonna have eight minus negative one. And this is also squared, okay? So then this is gonna be equal to the square root of, now three minus negative six, that's the same thing as three 
plus 6, right? So 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Okay, so we have 9 squared, and then we're going to add that to here. So 8 minus negative 1, so this is the same thing again as 8 plus 1. So 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 squared also, right? So 9 squared also, okay? So then here we're going to have the square root of, well, 9 squared is equal to 81, right? So we have 81 plus 81, which is equal to the square root of 162, which if you plug into your calculator, you're going to get approximately 12.7. Okay, so the length, right, the length right here, the distance right here, is equal to approximately 12.7. Okay, now we just have to find the width, right? So again, we're going to use the distance formula to find the width, okay? And to find this side, now we're going to have to use these two points right here, right? 3 comma negative 8 and 6 comma negative 5, okay? So this one, since it's already labeled, I'll just leave it as x of 2, y of 2, and then this one will be x of 1, y of 1, okay? So these are the two points we're using this time. Okay, so now that these are labeled, now we can plug them into our formula right here. Okay, so we're going to have the square root of, remember it's x of 2 minus x of 1, right? So x of 2 is 3, x of 1 is 6. So we're going to have 3 minus 6 in our first set of parentheses right here, right? 3 minus 6 and that's squared, and then we're going to add that to this set of parentheses right here. y of 2 minus y of 1, so 8 minus 5, okay? 8 minus 5, and this is squared also, okay? So then the width is equal to the square root of 3 minus 6, that's equal to negative 3, and this is squared, plus 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3, and that's squared also. So then we have the square root of uh, negative 3 squared is equal to 9, and 3 squared is equal to 9. Okay, so here we have the square root of 18, which if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get about, uh, right, approximately 4.2. Okay, so then the width over here is approximately 4.2. All right, and let's get rid of all this crap in 3, 2, 1, boom. All right, cool. Now, in order to find the area, remember the area is just the length times the width, right? So here we have 12.7 times 4.2. So 12.7 times 4.2. And that's going to be approximately, again, right, because we're just rounding everything, 53.3. And those are units squared, right? Don't forget those, right? So that's the area right here. Now to find the perimeter, remember we just have to add up all the sides, right? And another way we could write that is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Okay, so then the perimeter is going to be equal to 2 times the length, which is, again, approximately 12.7, right, plus 2 times the width, which is about 4.2. Okay, and then the perimeter. Uh, so 2 times 12.7, that's equal to 25.4, plus 2 times 4.2, so then this is equal to 8.4, right? And if you add these up, you're going to get a nice grand total of 33.8 units in length, all right? So then that's your perimeter. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out. And I'll see you there.